Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to Analysis Trends. I'm Rupam. I'm currently a business analyst and today we are going to cover chapter 2 that is 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3 topics. If you have not already watched the chapter 1 videos, um, there are two videos already been published on the channel. Please go and watch them and also follow me on Instagram as well as on LinkedIn and stay connected to cover more chapters. So today in this video, we are going to cover the business analysis core concept model, the BACCM metrics, the key concepts, that is the key terms and the requirement classification schema. So let's get started with the first, that is 2.1 business analysis key concept, the chapter two. So in this chapter, we got five different topics, that is BACCM metrics, the key terms, requirement classification schema, stakeholders, requirements and design. In this video, we are going to cover three, that is first, second and third. So let's get, let's get started with BACCM metrics. So BACCM metrics basically are the six key terms that you need to be, six key uh, knowledge terms you can say, uh, that need to be understandable and should be also having a greater understanding of this because irrespective of what organization you work, irrespective of what project you work on, irrespective of what team you are, irrespective of what level of organization is uh, you are working in, what domain it is, this six concepts are related to each other and if you have understanding of one then you, you should have understanding of how this five others are dependent to each other so you should be having an understanding the sequential here as well as both the logical understanding between them so the six uh, key concepts what i want what i want to you to focus is the change need solution stakeholder value and context okay so let's go into each of them individually and understand how it is explained in babok right so before even we go to this what exactly it helps you to define with the baccm the first one is they will define you the domain and profession of a business analysis right it communicates the business analyst with a common terminology right it describes the relationship between the key concepts and then it helps you to perform better business analysis right by evaluating relationship between the six concepts and then let's lastly it's also find a basically establish a foundation between the path of how you work and how, how your work efforts are being placed to accomplish the business analysis activities let's go into each of this now let's look at the first one that is change the act of transformation in response to a need so basically a change is nothing but uh, any organization will have change on day-to-day -day basis and change is constant in the whole world change is the only constant thing that happens time to time so there might be change in the technology there might be change in the solution there might be change in the people resources terms everything right so change is constant change will happen daily right so the act of transformation in response to a need basically change happens and when the change happens there is a need right and if there is a need there might be also a change happening so it says that change works to improve the performance of enterprise this improves uh, this Im this improvements are deliberately and controlled through a business analysis activities so change happens when there is a need and change is constant throughout the whole business analysis activities next one is a need the problem or opportunity to be addressed when there is a change there is a need and when there is a need basically we are trying to identify what's the problem or we are trying to identify what's an opportunity to basically uh, tackle that right so change can cause the need or need can cause the change right now why do we need why do we actually uh, want to change because we want to be uh, matching with other competitors right we also need to have common technologies used across our competitors so there is a change in the environment and we want to compete to that environment so we need or we have a need now that we want to go from this stage to that stage and that's where it actually motivates the stakeholder to keep on adding new things as a need because the environment is changing right and that's where it says that changes can also cause needs by uh, enhancing the value delivered by the existing solutions right let's go to the solution the third one a specific way of satisfying one or more need so now there is a change in an environment we want to go from this stage to next stage that's a need now how do we go that how do we satisfy that transition we sa we can satisfy that need by providing a solution to it right a solution is a is, a, is basically satisfying one or more need right so solution can also 
able to add value and also can be dependent on the opportunity so that is where the solution comes into picture next is a set stakeholder a group or an individual with a relationship to the change to the need and to the solution now actually who wants to have this change it can be an individual it can be a group of people it can be the company whole as an organization as a stakeholder right now these guys are actually need to need or identify the needs because of the change in environment and then probably recommend uh, basically look for a solution that will add value to the entity or to themselves and also uh, to as to as their organization now stakeholders are the one who actually can be terms of interest and can also impact on and can influence over the change because stakeholders are the one who can accept or approve or reject your changes or reject your kind of solutions you are giving right but they are the one who actually brings in the need or they are the one who actually look for an opportunity in the market to provide that particular need to the team to develop a solution to it so that the value can be given back to the team as well as to individual next is a value the worth the importance or the usefulness of something to a stakeholder within a context that means anything which you are building or solution which you are building to uh, tackle to a need right basically that that is giving a value out of uh, a solution and that value can be of tangible and intangible that means that value can bring money to the company or can be can bring intangible values that is that can add a value or reputation in case of surrounding name fame everything right to the company so that's where the value comes into picture then you got context so in which context we are actually changing so the context can be the competitor is changing that's the reason we are changing the technology is changing that's the reason we are changing so what influenced to make that change and we got a need in picture and then we got a need then we have identified what can be done to uh, satisfy this need and we bought a solution and then the solution is working fine and we have actually satisfied that need and that's where we are getting value but the context was as the competitor was changing as the seasons were changing as the terminology sales project infrastructure language process there are many influences many way we can we get influence of the stakeholder get influence right that is the whole concept behind this one so understand this is very 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 basic understanding of understanding of the six knowledge uh, concepts and it is irrespective of what organization you work but the whole business analysis concepts depend on this six concepts okay now how can you tackle each of them uh, while you're doing business analysis tasks so there are six questions you can ask which covers each of the concepts areas the first one is let's say can change so we can ask the stakeholder like or the one who want to understand what actually we are going to change is what kind of changes we are doing so that we'll able to identify what change need to be done what are the needs we are trying to satisfy that means we'll understand what are the requirements right then what are the solutions we are creating or changing we'll able to understand what kind of solutions we want to build so that we can satisfy the requirements right next what are the stakeholders involved like who are the stakeholders involved then who are the people who actually are influenced by impact by or wanted to happen this change then what do stakeholders consider to be of value what kind of value the stakeholders are looking for right it can be monetary in uh, tangible or intangible right what are the context that we uh, and the solutions are in like what is the context that we all need to be having an understanding of why are we having this change right it all depends on these six concepts understood let's move to the next next one that is key terms so the key terms basically are the terms that are being used while practicing the business analysis concepts the first one is business analysis information basically anything from the start to end you work in the business analysis the whole uh, day to day life of business analyst comes under business analysis information even from requirement gathering till testing till uat uh, understanding uh, finding out uh, the market analysis doing brainstorming session uh, finding out testing value what, what what where we lost where we gain right everything comes under business analysis information the next one is a design so design is a usable representation of a solution basically it's a pre solution we can say it it's it's basically documented where you will able to understand what what are the capabilities of a solution can be with that design right then you got enterprise enterprise is a system uh, which which is basically uh, used by or we can say is performed to perform a common goal by multiple organization or one organization and that will have a certain boundaries to be used and have a, de a defined relative between the organization and or an organization unit 
what is an organization a group of people working for a common goal and that is managed by some other some or other individual and they are working for a common goal again and that is very bounded right and they have a particular solution or system to be used that's an organization what's a plan it's basically the activities that need to be processed to achieve something and that's a plan what is a requirement basically a requirement is a need and a requirement is a usable representation of a need what need to be done uh, what what things need to be tackled so that we get to the ultimate solution or satisfy the particular need those are all comes into requirement and then risk so risk is an effective or uncertainty of value of a change basically risk need to be identified and need to be discussed with stakeholders even if you don't discuss a need it will be a risk even if you discuss a ri risk it will be again a point a point where you need to be very aware of what kind of market risk it is what it leads to uncertainty where can it affect what is the, what is an impact and you need to be very very clear of understanding those risk because this will also create an opportunity also lose or will be a faulty way of dealing or can say misleading the opportunity so risk is a very very key term that you need to identify risk at every stage of your business analysis activities the third one the third chapter sorry the third subtopic we're going to cover is requirement classification schema so there are four major requirements that is business requirement stakeholder requirement solution requirement and transition requirement so business requirement are nothing but if you want to change an enterprise that means a system in an organization that is a business business requirement who ask you to do that the stakeholders ask you to do that so the needs that a stakeholder defines is basically a stakeholder requirement and business requirement are actually created by stakeholders and stakeholders requirement lay a bridge between the business requirement and a solution requirement so stakeholder requirement are already a part of business requirement right next the solution requirement uh, describe the capability and quality that must be met to add the value to the stakeholder requirement or whatever stakeholder requirement want to make a change in the business that is a business requirement if we provide the value through a solution right and that will give a value to us through a solution that meets the stakeholder requirement then ultimately we are covering the business requirements there now there are two types of solution requirement functional and non-functional requirement functional requirement depends on behavior and information of a requirement let's say if you want to create a website and if you want to add a button so if i click on the button what should be the the website be performing or what should be the behavior of the website when i click on the button and let's say if the behavior is it will zoom in and the information it shows what kind of information it should be showing how the information should be all comes under functional requirement what is the functionality of that website next is a non-functional requirement it's not directly related to the behavior and information but it will show you the condition under which the solution must uh, the functional the solution must met the all the requirements that is when i click on the button it should zoom in but it should zoom in to a certain extent that's a condition and it also should zoom within two seconds it should also show show, should show the uh, the information within two seconds if i refresh the website it should load within five seconds that's a condition behind that requirement but ultimately it should show the same information it should behave in the same way irrespective of what condition we apply that comes under non-functional requirement then you got a transition requirement this requirement is different from all other three requirements because this requirement is dependent on change that means if changes happen the requirement is end there that means anything which is having a particular thing need to be moved from a current state to a future state that is a transition requirement and transition requirement address such topics as data conversion training or business continuity so this requirements ends once the uh, requirement or once the need is moved from current state to future state so this is all about 2.1 2.2 and 2.3 topics of bevoc guide i hope you have liked this video I'm really struggling hard to bring this thing in front of you in this way. Please let me know in the comments how you rate this as well as follow me on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram and please subscribe. That will give me more confidence to build such content and stay tuned. I'm going to bring the whole book on the video. No problem. I can do it for you guys. But the only thing is I need support. Okay. So please watch it carefully. Read it learn along that's the reason it's learn along series keep your babok guide simultaneously behind you watch this video rewind it i guess it will be very faster for you change the speed of the video if you guys are think that this is very slow change it to 1.25x 1.3x or 1.4x or 5x it's up to you 
or change it to 0.5x it up to you ultimate goal is to learn and get out of this context understanding of business analysis not a rocket science it's very easy the only thing is the mindset the understanding of the business key terms and the value you want to add to the organization again right that only depends on this one so stay tuned thank you for watching this video and stay connected goodbye